Welcome guys and thank you for tuning in. So today we got a 2015 Subaru WRX STI. We're gonna show you guys how to install this air and oil separator by Crawford Performance. See here, it's already been opened. Um, let's see, so we got some parts list. A little schematic. Not a full schematic, but part of it. The actual AOS canister. Um, some hardwares plug and some hoses all right are you guys ready let's go right, so we're gonna open the hood obviously all right so let's begin by removing this engine slash sound generator then we can remove our intercooler start off by removing the left and right bolt that secures the intercooler loosen the coupler from the turbo as well as the throttle body lastly remove the two bolts that secure the blow off valve on the intercooler then we should be able to slide it out um i just want to show you guys something i just want to pinpoint right here do you see it there's oil in that intercooler um so one purpose of or the main purpose of that aos that we're going to install is that to prevent oil coming from the crankcase back into our intake intercooler um, turbo. So intercooler has been taken off. Um, we're exposed to some of the PCB lines that we're gonna have to deal with. One of them is right here. That's from your crankcase coming up through this um, PCB connector. Um, there's another one, another line. I don't know if you guys can see it right here. So that one goes, there's a PCB valve. It's a one-way check valve. Um, so yeah, this line introduced um, crankcase pressure to our intake manifold right underneath here somewhere. So by the looks of it, I'm gonna have to remove the throttle body. Thankfully, that throttle body is only secured by four 10 mil bolts. After that, you should be able to move it aside. Once the throttle body is all aside, we should be able to get access to that PCB port that's mounted into our intake manifold. Remove that line. Once you have done that, get to the other side of it where the PCB valve is, and then we're going to be replacing the line. After securing each line on each port, make sure to route it properly without interfering with any other lines. Be sure that none of our lines that we're installing are kinked or pinched. From there, we should be able to reinstall our throttle body, make sure to use new gasket, and then reconnect our MAP sensor and a throttle body connector. All right, so basically what I've done here is disconnected this white fitting from this hose straight from the crankcase. And after that, you install this fitting that comes with the kit. And from there, you're gonna install another piece of hose, which is gonna go into our canister. Then from this PCB connector that's mounted in our intake elbow pipe, you're gonna install a long piece of hose that's gonna wrap around underneath our throttle body also try and route it underneath some other lines or wiring harness so it's going to look neat and it goes through our canister that sits right there basically like that i mean it's not the prettiest but that's how they go now let's disconnect this bulk harness connector so we can move it aside there's another tab right here which is, i've already poked out to the side right here do you see it as soon as you poke that out you can slide this ball connector up right there all right so i have taken that bracket off already um like i said one bolt there one bolt there now at this point what i was trying to do is completely secure our catch can i had to move the coolant reservoir aside in order to get more room now that everything is secure let's also reinstall this bracket that we have taken off from earlier and then let's reconnect our bulk harness connector. Now with all the lines that we have installed, we can finally mount that into our catch can. Be sure to route it properly and no interference with any other lines. All right, so we're almost done here, guys. We just got to resecure our top mount intercooler. But before we do that, I just want to make sure we do a little recap in regards to which line goes where. So let's start off with our PCV valve, which is down here coming from the crankcase comes out 
and into our port number two. And then second one is right here coming from that same T fitting from the crankcase. It comes out and into our port number four right there. The third one would be this white fitting right here from our intake elbow. It wraps around underneath the throttle body and into port number three, which is down there. And lastly, the one from underneath the throttle body comes out and into our port number one, which is this one right here. So that's pretty much it. I just want to make sure we clarify that those lines are installed properly. And lastly, we can finally secure our intercooler. Once again, be sure that none of the lines we just installed are kinked or pinched because that's going to cause excessive crankcase pressure, which also going to cause oil seals to leak down the road. Well, there you have it guys. So be sure that this plug is secured properly as well as the one by the firewall. And that's pretty much it. So feel free to share this video to those people who are looking to install this kit or something similar. And for more upcoming videos, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. See you guys. Have a good one.